we need to look through this column of numbers and pick out the second smallest. And because there's a tie, I don't want the second smallest as a 1. I want to ignore the duplicates and get the actual second biggest number, the number 2. Second smallest number, ignoring ties, we're going to see four different Excel formulas. Luckily, in Excel, there's a great function called small. The array, we put all the numbers we want, comma. The K is which small? 1 would give us the min. 2 would give us the second smallest, 3 the third smallest, and so on. I'm simply putting a 2, close parentheses. And when I enter the formula, it gives me 1, and that's correct the small function, and also the sister to small large, which picks out the largest number, looks at all the numbers, not a unique list. Well, that gives us a good idea. If we have Microsoft 365 Excel, we can simply use the unique function. When I highlight all of the numbers, close parentheses, if I hit the F9 key to evaluate, that's exactly what I want to put inside of the small function. Control Z. Now I put the small function, and the unique will deliver the correct numbers to array, comma. And I'm going to click on the formula input over here for the number 2 as our K, close parentheses. And now when I hit Enter, that formula will work. Now, what if you don't have Microsoft 365 and the amazing unique function? Well, if we look at this as a logical test, I could come over here and say, hey, number, are you greater than? And I'm going to use the min function to highlight all the numbers. F4 to lock it, close parentheses. That way, when I enter this, Control-Enter, and copy it down, all the numbers that are bigger than the min get a true. The two numbers we don't want get a false. If we had this array of trues and falses inside of our formula, we could easily use the if function and say, if it's true, please give me the min. So we use the min function, but inside the min, we have to use the if function to pick out the numbers that we want. So the logical test will be that whole column, are you greater than the min? Close parentheses. If I look at this with the F9 key, there's my pattern of trues and falses. Control Z, comma, the value if true, well, I'm going to give it all the numbers in value if true. We leave value if false out because we want the default value of false to appear. Now, inside of the min function, if I highlight and hit F9, now we have eliminated the biggest value and all of the potential ties. Now with the biggest value gone, the min can pull out the second smallest. Now I come to the end, close parentheses. And in earlier versions of Excel, because we're making an array calculation there, we have to use the special keystroke to enter the formula, Control, Shift, and Enter. We immediately go up to the formula bar and verify that those curly brackets are put in. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood that this is an array formula and calculated it correctly. Now, the problem with this construction is that, yes, it works for the second smallest. But if I want to have a formula input that I can change, I'm going to change the smallest k to 3. Well, of course, small and unique works, but this one will not work because we're only eliminating the smallest value. So in earlier versions where we didn't have unique, the way we created a unique list was by using the frequency function. Now, normally, we give it some numbers to count, comma, and then some upper limits like 10, 20, 30. But the trick for getting a unique list is to put the exact same numbers in the bin array. Close parentheses. When we hit the F9 key, it counts. There's one six, there's two fives, and so on. Wherever there are duplicates, a 0 is listed. Now, what's so beautiful about this is that the if function interprets any non-zero number as true. The zeros will be false. So we can put this right inside of the if, Control Z. If, there's the logical test, comma, we put in our numbers, 
close parentheses. And now if I hit F9, we've simulated what the unique function does with a unique list of values and falses where there were duplicates. Now we can use this directly inside the small function. And aggregate functions like small are programmed to ignore false. Control Z. Now we put that inside of small. Now we come to the end, comma, and our K will be whatever that input is. Close parentheses. And now we use our keystroke Control Shift and Enter. Now if I change this to 2 or 4, small with unique or small using frequency, both give us the correct answer. Bonus formula number one. Hey, what if we wanted the second biggest? Well, instead of using small, we'll use small sister, the large function. When I hit Enter, now that formula is picking out the second biggest. Don't have Microsoft 365 Excel? No problem. We can use frequency and large. Control Shift Enter, and everything's working. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out more about the frequency function, check out this video. More about Microsoft 365 dynamic array functions, check out this video.